What do you get when you give an eight-year-old a chance to make a movie? I mean, you're probably going to get something with the writing quality of a modern episode of The Simpsons, but the toy movie was different gravy. Bloody hell, the toy movie. What an iconic piece of this channel's history. But before we go on and tell you why it's cancelled, it's time for a bit of a story as we go over the origin story. Bloody hell, this is not a Marvel film. <laughs> of the toy movie. This is the story of the toy movie. So there I was six years ago, bloody hell, it's been a long time. Well, I was with Reese Wiseman, someone who, for some reason, I've been talking to six years. Still a backup though, but I pitched them the idea of the toy movie. This was the most original idea that you have ever seen. Now, you may be saying, Lewis, what, what, what was it there of quadrilogy about toys? No, if you think that, you're delusional. We all know that was just an OnlyFans video about a bloody Woody. Okay. Please stop talking. And I pitched the idea to Reese, and he was so on board for it. He was bloody so excited. Let's go! Did Reese and Lewis, the awesome dudes, were ready for this? But unfortunately, there were some red flags early on. The first was the crew who were making this movie. They consisted of a guy who climbs on Bruce and puts satellites up there. A woman who planned like a wedding once, who was eight. Reese, who was eight and had a diet containing custard greens and bread, the bloody living embodiment of the devil, and me. <laughs> what pathetic group of people! Honestly, Jedward was a more inspiring doer. The red flag being the runtime. Now, usually a film is ninety minutes if it's a bit more of an exciting one, like a blockbuster. It's usually two hours, but. It wasn't going to be two hours, it wasn't going to be three hours, it wasn't going to be four, it wasn't going to be five, it wasn't going to be six, it wasn't going to be seven, it was eight bloody hours! Honestly, that's the amount of time we probably spent doing internet safety assembly. And the third problem was the story. I mean, what story, to quote a famous person? The, the, the plot, the toy movie did have a plot, as bad as it was. It contained Gaston, who would have to go to the eight different lands of... Toys, whether you have the land of Barbie, the land of Peppa Pig, the land of Hot Wheels, and so on and so forth. And he would have to collect a crystal, which with those crystals he had the power to defeat the evil titan, honestly. <sighs> Where have you seen that plot before? Wait, hold on. I planned my film before Infinity War, honestly. Marvel, the movie was off to a pretty poor Of course! Film. The production was... A little slow in the beginning. I I mean, I wrote the entire script. Yes, all eight hours, honestly. I can't think of a more waste of time. What happened to this script is the biggest mystery since bloody Madden and McCann or the third fart, because honestly, I don't know. My biggest guess is probably the bin. Now, over the summer in 2017, I gave Reese a list that was imperative that he did so that we could keep the production and we aim for the film to come out in 2020. Genuinely, that was the original set I was like, three years should be enough time for me to make this eight hour film, how wrong I was, but you know. And unfortunately, over the summer, Reese was too busy watching bloody anime. <laughs> to do anything, and from there on, the project fell quicker than Kevin Spacey's acting career. It was a shambles, the toy movie. Now, you may be asking, well, how did it get to the point where you were going to make it again then? Well, I'll tell you that. Keep bloody hell. Have a bit of patience. A year later, I say about, I don't know the exact date. I was with famous YouTuber Turtle Gamer, and well, I told him about this third movie. Hold on. He's the same guy I was with when I told him the cloud theory. What if you with him find out all these big memes? He spread this to all of the gang. You know the gang. You got Bra Moment, Luke, um, Lakili, God forbid Ainsley, and Junior. Probably not Junior, he's probably not there, but... Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? This is when I was not in the class. This was when they decided to put me in year six in with year nine and tens. What could go wrong? <laughs> and the toy movie became this meme, and when I went to do bloody sats of them, all they could go on about was, Oh, the toy movie! What's the toy movie coming out? What's the toy movie coming out? I'm like, oh. So by the time of year eight when I got in the class with them, I, I might as well just make the movie. So I teamed up with Lakili and made him make this godforsaken video. 
What's up guys? This is like Healer here. What's cracker liking? AKA Octa Sniper. Welcome to the most epic channel on YouTube today. I'll tell you about a new film. It's the toy movie. The movie stars Gaston and Juice Bag who are looking for something to change the world. He will go on around the world of toys. The film's musical also with legendary songs like it's great to be a toy. This film looks like a banger and it will be amazing. The film is being uh, made by an incredible lowest epic content mature and honest a brilliant YouTuber. This man is making the film alone. He's looking for actors so join the project. This movie is going to be the best Ever. Disney, Nintendo, Minions are uh, so much more. In one film, the trailer will be out in December. The current release date is uh, the 8th of uh, March 2020. This guy once had more subscribers than me. <laughs> God. And I later on also made a trailer. Now, my, my pitch for the toy movie was going to be so bad that it's sort of entertaining. The idea was that it wasn't supposed to be a proper movie. However, I quickly realised I just couldn't really do anything with it. Any idea that I had. And instead of making the toy movie, I did Chadwick Bulgaria. And my original idea was that at the end of Chadwick Bulgaria, it's going to be revealed that this was the toy movie. As the whole thing was about Reginald. The movie, I never really intended to release it. But I thought I'd just draw it out. I, I need to stop doing this bloody thing. First you had the cloud theory. Then you had the, the one we don't go on about. And then you had this, like... <laughs> But this wasn't trying to be a trickery thing. I don't think anyone actually expected me to make the toy movie. I just kind of kept it going. And I made the date 8th of March 2022 because it made sense for me to do it then, to be honest. So, yeah, the toy movie's cancelled. Really sad day. And I know you're all going to be crying tonight that the toy movie didn't happen. But it, it's going to be okay. You're going to get better. Life will improve. No matter how low it gets. Even if Gathlon can't fight that titan for you, you will be stronger. I'm so sorry. the cancellation of the toy movie is a massive blow to everyone, but especially the Lewis Epic Content Cinematic Universe. So let's see how each member has taken the cancellation of this movie. Okay, Keith, you're on first. Right, I'm Keith on the local landlord, and how I feel about the toy movie being cancelled, I mean... Who cares? Really, another film about toys? Back in my day, they used to make films about James Bond. And now they're making films about James Bond. Honestly, when is Hollywood going to come with something original? Next is Chad Boy. I know he's dead, but for some reason he's here. Chad Boy here! For one time only! How I feel about the toy movie being cancelled is a tragedy! The Jettios were working so hard to see this movie, and it's cancelled. No! Go on, Jordan. Right, Jordan here, and if you honestly want to hear what I feel about the movie being cancelled, I mean, to be honest, mate, I couldn't, couldn't care less. I mean, I don't have to edit it now, because I was surely going to be the one editing it, and I mean, who actually wants to see the toy movie anyway? Go on, Fums. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm Fums, I'm the fairy godmother, and... To be honest, I'm absolutely bloody devastated I am about the toy movie being cancelled. Because I know Lewis has got the acting ability, my good friend, the Irish little pixie. So I guess, Fairy Camp's going to be quiet this week. Goodbye. Next up is Puez. Um, wait, hold on. Who let my arch enemy on there? Ah, 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 ah. Another L for Lewis. No one cares about your movie, and I'm only here to, um, enjoy my time before I die can canonically again. But all I'm gonna say is, LOL, no one wanted to watch the toy movie anyway. Next we have, um, um, who the hell are you? I am the Karate Child. I mean, the toy movie is in the martial arts film, so I don't care. I guess I get Holly to talk. Why do I have to do all the talking? It's not fair. It's your channel. As the trailer maker for the toy movie, I have to deliver you some news. The toy movie has been cancelled due to unforeseen circumstances. 
is forcing development on the film to not start at all because we thought it was just going to be a joke and wouldn't actually be developed. Thank you! This has made me feel very happy so I don't have to do any work. Great. Can I leave now? Yeah, what a great sister. And finally, we'll finish off with Reginald. Lewis, for Lewis to delay the toy movie is an unforeseen tragedy. He has failed us. He is not a worthy apprentice. This is why Jordan is better than him. He cannot commit. You have failed me, Lewis. I'm leaving you. Sorry, I'm telling you, toy movie's been cancelled because basically he could be bothered to make it. Well, well, no, he could, but like he didn't have enough time to do it. So, hope that clears everything up. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye. What am I even saying? I'm gonna go back fighting Dean. And that was that, but on a serious note, I just want to say this is probably the most fun I've ever had, like doing a video. I feel like it had the best of both worlds. I took the more skits and like sillier stuff I used to do and then mixed it in with the more new commentary style and I think it really worked. So I'd like I'd love to do more stuff like this in the future and this was gonna be the week I was gonna do the Q and A, but I <laughs> realised I kind of have to do, you know, toy movie this week, so yeah, Q and A will be next week and I just I just thought it'd be weird to just end the video bloody with a curtain, so I just thought I'd do this a little bit now, but yeah, we're close to 